Hey everyone, today I am starting a new video series going over the IS to IS routing protocol. Now, this series is going to be dedicated towards the CCIE Enterprise exam, like most of my other videos are, um, where historically ISIS has been a service provider thing. You know, you would only see it on the service provider exams. But what I have here up on the screen is the CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure exam topics. Um, in this blueprint, we actually explicitly see IS to IS and then maybe implicitly um, see it in some other places if Cisco decides to be tricky with us. Um, the first place we see it is under Software Defined Infrastructure. Topic 2.1a says design a Cisco SD access, SD access solution and then the underlay network IS to IS. So it is only under the design section, but I have a feeling that, you know, the questions are going to be more in depth than just like which routing protocol should you turn on for, for this feature? You know, we're going to need to know the ins and outs of ISIS in order to answer some design questions. So in this video series, I'm going to be going over the configuration of ISIS so you can kind of see how it works together. Luckily for us, the protocol is very similar to OSPF, but it's not just enough to know OSPF and then kind of gloss over ISIS. You should see how things work and how to configure it. So I will definitely go over all the basics of how to configure. Um, I'm not going to go crazy deep into theory. My recommendations to look for theory are going to be routing TCP IP volume one, uh, which if you're studying for your CCIE, you probably already have this book. And in this book, it is chapter 10, is integrated ISIS. So you already got the book, read chapter 10. Um, another book that I really love that you may or may not have, um, if you have an O'Reilly slash Safari subscription, you can obviously take a look at it, is the IP routing on iOS, iOS XE, and iOS XR book. Um, this book does have two chapters dedicated to ISIS. So some of it is on XE, some of it's on XR, but still another fantastic book if you're looking for something different. So with that said, there are some other places too besides here that we may want to just take a quick look at for ISIS, you know, not kill ourselves with, but I'll be going over in some videos is under the network infrastructure. Down here under routing concepts, there are a few topics, namely um, these four that say, you know, routing with any routing protocol, route filtering with any routing protocol, manual summarization with any routing protocol, and then redistribution between any pair of routing protocols. So this is a weird one because I've never taken the exam and even if I did, I couldn't tell you what's on it. But when I took the uh, Micronics bootcamp, Narbic did say that he spoke to, you know, people who create the, the IE lab and they were very non-committal about which protocols were actually any. Um, I believe Narbic said that RIP is fair game. And if RIP is fair game, it's possible. I'm not saying it's definite. I'm just saying it's possible that ISIS is also fair game. Um, these aren't crazy, you know, like route filtering, manual summarization, redistribution shouldn't be too difficult. So I'll just make a, you know, a quick video about each of those topics. Um, the other thing too, that might give us a clue is if you're doing your CCMP, one of the specialization, ex specialization exams or concentration exams, as they're called the ENSLD, um, as some people are calling the end salad exam, which is the design in here. We have create stable, secure, and scalable routing designs for IS to IS. So I'm assuming that that's kind of going to be the scope of what the design questions that we're going to get on the 
you know the lab design portion so the tough part is i've never taken the i've never taken the lab exam um there's really not a lot of official material on it so i'm creating this material for you guys just to kind of help out but i don't really know so that's kind of the overview for the series um in the next video i'm going to go over you know how to configure addressing, then we're gonna start going in and how to actually configure the interfaces, configure the protocols, areas, levels, you name it. So I hope you guys, you know, will come along with me for the ride. I plan on doing one video a day. I don't know how many videos there's gonna be yet. Um, I'm not gonna go into crazy overkill like I said. I'm not gonna go crazy into theory. This is just gonna be configuration. So Hope you guys enjoy the series and we'll see you on the next video, which should publish tomorrow.